Hi guys, my name is Shad. In this tutorial, we'll be managing the logical table sources. We'll create multiple logical table sources for D3 customer logical table. We are going to open the repository in offline mode, add the new logical table source, create the presentation layer object, load the repository, create and run the analysis, and then check the query log. In the admin tool, open the BI sample repository in offline mode. Click on manage, then click identity. Select BI repository in the left panel, then double click on WebLogic. That is the administrative user. Just confirm that the login level is set to 2, then close the user dialog box. Click on action right here, then close. We're now going to add a new logical table source. So expand the sample sales business model in the BMM layer, then expand D3 customer logical table and also expand sources. Right click on the D3 customer logical table source, then click rename to change the name. Name this LTS1 customer. For some reason, I had an S for customers. I will change this from the alias to. You can right click the alias and rename to remove the S at the end. I will also do the same for the logical table. Right click rename, then remove the S at the end. Now let's double click the LTS1 customer. This opens the logical table dialog box. Click on the column mapping mapping tab. As you can see, uh, the logical columns do map to the physical columns from the same table, which is D3 customer. Click OK to close this dialog box. The next thing we are going to do is to drag D4 address from physical layer. Drag this to D3 customer logical table in the BMM layer. This will create another logical table source named D4 address. New logical columns are also added. These columns here are mapped to D4 physical table. I'll minimize uh, this right here. Then double click the logical table source D4 address. Click on general tab, then rename D4 address to LTS2 customer address. Once you're done renaming, click on column mapping. Confirm that the logical columns map to the physical columns in the uh, same D4 address physical table. Click OK to close the dialog box. Now D3 customer maps to these two logical table sources. Because of this also, we now have two address key columns, this right here, and also this right here. Just right click on one of these keys and then click on delete. Now we have only one address key over here. Next thing we are going to do is to rename new logical columns highlight on these uh, columns here right click and then select re the rename wizard now let's select the rules select all text lowercase then click add button choose first letter of each word capital then add then also change underscore to space then click add button I can move the underscore to space rule uh, just one step up should be okay now go ahead and press next here you'll get a preview of how the names would look like click the finish button then confirm that the column names are as expected nextly we need to rename the other logical table sources Expand D2 product logical table, then expand the sources folder. Now right click on D2 product logical table source, then click on rename. Name this 
LTS1 product. You can double click on the LTS1 product, confirm the name here too, and check the mappings as we did earlier. Click OK to close the dialog box. I'll minimize this here. Expand F1 revenue, then expand the sources folder also. Instead of doing the right click to rename, I double click on the table source. From general tab, rename this to LTS1 revenue. You can also check the column mappings. Go ahead and press OK to close the dialog box. We are going to stop here, guys. In the next tutorial, we will we'll continue um, and create the presentation layer objects, uh, load the repository, then create an analysis, and then we'll also check our query logger. Until then, guys, enjoy and uh, good luck. Thank you.